Okay, so we have another case unboxing for you today. This time it's of the Game Max Volcano. This is a kind of normal ATX sized case, in a MIDI tower, if you want to call it that. Um, another case by Game Max. Uh, we saw it and it kind of went along with what we wanted to do for our next build. So we decided to go for it. And I'm going to spin the box, and if you want to see anything on the box, you can pause the video and read it. Try and cover that up because it's our address. It's out of the box. I have to say, this is a very kind of heavy case for something that Game Max made. I'm not saying that they're a bad brand. I'm just saying it feels a little bit higher quality than I was expecting from this brand. And um, yeah, so let's get um, let's get into this. So front I/O up here, we have some fan controllers, three speed fan controllers. Two USB 3, two USB 2, headphone, microphone jack, an SD card slot, reset button, power button. At the front, so we have all this mesh at the front that has, seems to have a, some form of quick, look at that, quick release, um, quick release uh, fan filter. There you can see two, they will be red LED fans at the front there. So this will go back there, and there we go. Now at the top, more, another quick release filter. And I even, I wish you could kind of feel how heavy this is, but it's it's nice high quality. Um, nice metal mesh and some good foam dust filter behind that. So now getting on to kind of the construction of the case because on this case it kind of makes sense to go over it. So the side panels obviously are metal, that's not, not a shock to anyone. Um, the rear of the case is also metal, again not a shock. Uh, these are not ones you have to punch out, these are not PCIe slots you have to punch out. Um, they screw in, which is again that's really nice. Uh, this is a fairly high-end case and I was not expecting it. I feel I feel like I'm really kind of going hard against Game Max, but I'm not trying to do that. Um, anyway, so yeah, so the front here is plastic, but it's kind of a... It's not just matte, it has a kind of... No. As I was saying, uh, it's not just kind of a matte finish on this plastic, it's like a really, really fine kind of sandpaper feel to it. Uh, it has real good texture to it. Now this is also plastic, but it has a brushed aluminium kind of finish on it. And I have to say, it looks really nice. Uh, the top is the same as the front, and it has the nice kind of texture to it. And the sides don't have, the side panels don't have the same texture, but the colour matching, at least from my eyes, with lights hitting hitting my eyes so I'm not going to be able to see as well as I normally am. Uh, the colour matching seems to be really really good. So that's always nice to see. Sometimes when colour matching doesn't work out properly it can make the case look terrible. But on this, in this case it looks really nice. And we have a nice big side panel window and I'm not going to take this plastic off until we're doing the actual build. In this case, some way I'm going to do a build in it. As you know, I don't just buy a case for the laugh. Um, so yeah, let's go around to the back of the case and I'll give you a proper show as to what's happening here. So as you can see, seven PCIe slots, which means it is full ATX, not the ATX or anything like that. 
So you will be able to fit basically any any motherboard in here because EATX isn't really a thing anymore. Uh, either is XLATX. But, uh, we have a 120mm fan slot here. Keep hitting the, uh, the fan filter here. Stay. So yeah, we have a 120mm fan mounting position here. Our place for our IO shield. Same as normal. Where our power supply goes, it's bottom mounted. And there is a shroud for your power supply in there so you don't see the actual power supply. And that means cable management in this case is going to be really, really nice to do. And um, I'm going to take this side off. Side panels off in these cases can sometimes be really hard. There we go. You can see how big that kind of side panel window is now once it's off compared to the size of the side panel. And now you get to see the shroud properly. We have all of these cables here and I know it looks really messy but um, this is just fan controllers and stuff like that and really all this will be going around the back so it won't look bad at all. You can see these front LED fans again and as you can see there is more than enough room here for a radiator. If I have a look really quick I want to check something. Uh, Sorry if I'm getting in the way of the camera now. No, I don't think it'll work. I was seeing whether you'd be able to mount another fan at the top, which means you'd be able to have a 360. But it seems as though you can only have two 120s or two 140s, which means either a um, 240 or 280 right in the front, but still that's, that's good. We can put a 240, I believe, radiator in the top yeah 240 sorry I have to check this again make sure I'm not seeing it. yes I thought there was room for three fans and um, um, you if you wanted to you could probably uh, try and squeeze a 120 radiator in the back uh, I probably wouldn't bother with that though you just want an exhaust fan and um, from what I can see they give, they give you a decent amount of room, like most ATX motherboards won't go beyond here. So you probably will be able to fit a decent reservoir and pump combo here. Which means water cooling in a case that costs this is... Um, I wouldn't mind going for it if people would buy those kind of systems. It would just cost too much and it would put the price of the system up too high for me to sell it. Yeah, we, we get a little bag of goodies. So you get a few cable ties and all the screws you'll need. This method isn't as fancy as the higher end case cases, but they do give you everything you'll need. Um, So yeah, that's that's good. I see a couple of um, fan screws in there as well, so they don't just leave you hanging on that. Uh, yeah, well, we have all of our front panel connections. I like that. They're not fully black cabled, but they're going to be coming up from here and going in, so you're only going to see that little bit anyway, so it's not going to be an issue. Now I'm going to show you how to get the front of this case off. It's pretty easy. There is just a little handle down the bottom here. If I can. It's pretty far back, so I'm going to have to have it there. So all you do is pull it off. It comes off relatively easily. There's no big cracks or bangs with this one, so you're not going to have a stroke every time you pull the front panel off.
again there's good good way to that front panel now you can as far as i can see if you look up you can see there are little clamps up there so that you can actually take this off if you wanted to but there's no need because there's a fan filter so your fans just go on there uh, yeah so there's no there isn't really a need to take that off now I'm gonna move around to the back Now here's some things I didn't know about. So you can have, we have an SSD mount here, which is quite nice to see. It's a pretty big one as well. W wasn't expecting it like that. Um, so we have one SSD mount here, two more there. And we also have two less hard drive cages here. I'm genuinely somewhat in awe of this case at the moment because it has a lot of features that weren't even like they no one tried to even mention them on the Amazon page when when we were buying this. Excuse my voice. Uh well so we have a pretty well placed uh SSD mount here and you can see how far this sticks out. And there's still more room left so cable management in this is going to be an absolute breeze have two hard you can have two hard drives or ssds in this one hard drive one ssd whatever you want to do or two ssds here so you can have a total of five drives never mind the fact that ssds you don't really have to screw down anywhere so you could have like another one sitting there if you wanted to six or seven drives and um, but kind of five officially in the case uh officially is the wrong word to use but i think you understand what i'm saying we have kind of good uh grommet grommet areas here for when you put in your ssd your ssd would be here and these are uh, where it screws in elevates it ever so slightly so you should be able to fit, fit your SATA connection in there and your grommet there perfectly for your SATA power and data to come in we have a fairly big uh, uh, backplate cut out here for your CPU cooler and they leave a good amount of room up here for your 8 pin and whatever fans you want to come through So all in all, this case has a lot of features that I wouldn't even expect to see on some of the kind of 70 euro or pound kind of cases from high-end brands. Uh, and it, this costs, I think, just over 50 euro. Now I can't tell you at the moment what it is in pounds or dollars because the currencies are all over the place, but... Um, for the price the features are the only word to explain it is amazing i would not mind buying these for almost every system i build now just for the kind of price to performance not performance but price to features that you get it's a good looking case i know there's not many panels on it at the moment so you can't really see what it probably looks like but in a minute i will uh, off camera put all the panels back on and i'll show you what the leds and stuff look like when they're installed, or not installed, sorry, when they're um, powered up. So all in all, this is a lovely looking case. Now that it's all back together and I can kind of stand back and have a look at it, it is lovely looking. Um, I'm not sure, it kind of strangely reminds me of a of um, Cooler Master Cosmos. I don't know why it is, I think it's just the kind of shape, curvature of around this area. But to me, it kind of, it's, kind of looks like it. Um, it's like, it's hard to explain, it is a nice kind of mix between angles and curves because you know you have these curves and but it's also kind of angled 
and there's good features in it and you know a card reader that no one will ever use but the fact that they bothered to put it there is quite quite nice and a like, fan controller I don't know I, I really like it and here I'm not going to put them in the case now but I have um, some fairly short red LED strips which I will find a good place to put them in the case when I'm doing a build but I should do if I have a look around I should have a red LED fan for the back and I'll show you why that would look really good and I'm going to just turn on the LED lights turn off these lights So you can have a good look at what they're like. I'm really happy with the I'm really happy with this case. I think once I have everything. Once I have everything kind of done, and I know it's not as bright as it was before, but it's, it's light. Um, I'll turn on this. I think once I have kind of all the parts in the case when we're doing this build, and I'm going to make sure that I don't just go for any old graphics card that looks alright. I want to go for a proper, you know, black and red one, maybe an MSI gaming one if I can get maybe a 470, an RX 470, and um, that'll be nice. Uh, I have I have an Asus Sabertooth 99FX R2.0 motherboard and in this is already an FX8320 and I know, I know, I know I should wait for Zen when it comes to AMD stuff but I kind of got it at a deal that I couldn't resist so I went and got that but I think when this system is built, it's going to be one of my best yet. And usually I only figure that out after I've built the system. So the fact that I kind of know it before I've even touched it is probably a good sign. So I'm really excited for this. And yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.